this is Joanne coming to you today with a Confessions of a Paper Edit Cup File Shop scrapbooking layout. Look at this cup file. It is super, super cool. It is a heart with the word love in it. And the special thing about this cup file is it comes with the holes. It cuts out the holes so you can go ahead and do your hand stitching right on it. It, it makes it so ridiculously easy this took no time whatsoever because I didn't have to poke my own holes and everything is perfect isn't that super pretty I'm going to use this cup file and I'm going to use the floral cluster cup file isn't that pretty I love these I love me some flowers okay this is pink fresh studio um, one of their newer collections called delightful that I'm going to use I thought this background paper would be super pretty because it's got such a soft delicate um, pattern in the back it sort of reads like a solid so I like that a lot but because it's white on white this love is not standing out enough for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple ink colors. I'm going to do a mint like the color and the peach like the embroidery floss. And do like an ombre on the love. All right. And I fear, yep, that you're going to see my light in my glass mat. But we'll just pretend that it's not there. Or maybe we can just go like that. <laughs> then you won't see it. I practiced on the back to make sure that I would like it. So I put some peach on the back and some green on the back. And that's one really cool way that you can just practice your colors to make sure that they match. I think I'll do green on the bottom. So I bought some new blending brushes from Amazon and I really like them. So I'm going to go ahead and... Just speed this up a little bit. Let me see, look like that. <laughs> so it's not so annoying. And just blend on the bottom and then blend on the top of the peach. Okay, here we go. Doesn't the ombre effect look super cool? I like it. I left these um, not glued down to the paper because that's where I'm going to tuck my photo. Let me show you. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Came out good. I did put some foam strips behind this just to elevate it off the page a little bit. These little thin foam strips. I got those at scrapbook.com. I'm pretty sure you can get it on Amazon or anything else too. Um, so let's go ahead and start decorating and use the other cup file that I have. I want to place this here and then this here, something like that, just so it kind of circles around the bottom of the heart up into the love word. Here is my photo. I printed it in black and white thinking it would be really cool of myself and my husband. We were in a friend's wedding a couple years ago go so I was thinking just put that right there how cute would that be and I'm being like super picky about where I want these this cup pile floral cluster to be placed because I want it to kind of be down here like so and I want the leaves and everything to hit everything like in a nice manner so I'm gonna have to tuck these into one another a little bit cover up a little bit of the cup file i think but i don't want to cover up too much of the love word either so you see my dilemma about how picky i am i think that's okay 
Okay, friends, this is the next day. I could not figure out how I wanted to embellish this. I just kept wanting to put things everywhere, and I don't really think that we have to because it's super pretty by itself. So I'm just going to put a few things down. This collection had a package of, like, vellum items. It was so super cool. Let me see if I can show it to you. All this is vellum. See all the stuff that you get in there? Let's see if I can do it without the glare. Isn't that neat? So I picked some things from there. Had some other stuff. And then off camera I put from... I keep wanting to show you everything. Here's the alphabet that the alphabet um, that came with the collection. I can't talk. And I just put a little teeny word that says us. Love us. I picked out some vellum leaves. Now, I want to put those on there. I cut a couple of them off because I'm going to tuck and I lost some of the leaves. So I said, why lose it if I can just cut it and use it someplace else? Okay, so put this here like so and then I have to put another foam square back underneath that and I think that one that I had I sufficiently mangled so I'm gonna grab a new one so it stays down nicely and then I'm gonna use a teeny teeny bit of glue to put these vellum pieces down because if you don't know, as soon as you get this vellum wet, it automatically curls on you. And I really don't want it to curl a lot. A little bit would be okay for some dimension. That would be super pretty, wouldn't it? And you also don't want to see the glue through your vellum. So I'll just take my little glue gun and I'll put a little bit of glue on here where we're not going to see it. And hopefully it doesn't curl too much. So then I cut some of these pieces off. I'll put some right here on the tip. Thought it would be cute to sneak one in there a little bit. Isn't it pretty? This one looks like it's going good right there. So I'll put some glue just like this. Just a little bit. And then sneak that right in there. Push those foam squares back down. Oh no, I got glue on my paper. This is why I always have napkins. All right, that's good. Then I have these little off cuts too. We should put them around somewhere. I don't know where. Ooh, that looks pretty. Gotta be able to find some place and be like, yes, this is exactly where that's supposed to go. Now that's kind of super cute. Having two little leaves come out like that. I like that better than any other place that we've put things down so far. So we're going to go with it. And I'm going to turn my paper so I can get right in there. I don't want it to interfere with the cut file. And then I think a little bit of glue dabbed out. Go like that. Yay, perfect. All right, so I also have vellum butterflies from that vellum pack. Those are pretty. I'm going to put those all around. I found flare buttons from the collection. This says yes, and this says happy. I like the blue, but I also am thinking this white is super, super pretty. And again, I don't know where to put any of this, so I'm going to try it a couple different places. Maybe. That looks kind of cute. You just kind of have to feel around until you get what you want. Really. I have these on foam squares, so when I do find the good spot for them, that is not it. Then I could just go ahead and stick them right down. So let's get some butterflies. Let's see. We can put a pink one here. Super pretty. And then let's put a couple different colored ones up here. I have one going this way, one going this way. Fill in that little empty spot there with a little bit of something. Um, maybe you definitely have one coming this way. Like that. Pretty. And then I'm thinking... I don't want this green one right next to the green leaves because it kind of gets lost. Like 
Let's see. Hmm. What do we think? I think that's kind of cute. So again, vellum, it's going to curl up naturally when you get it wet. So I'll just go ahead and put a little bit right in the middle. Let it do, let it do its thing. I don't know why I can't talk today, but I can't. Okay, we'll put another one down here. I think I'm definitely going to put honeybee stamp gems in the middle of these butterflies because they're so pretty and they need just a little something more to sparkle them up. Oh my God, I dropped that. Good thing I have napkins. Wow, they're sitting up nice all by themselves. That's wonderful. Okay, there's that. Oh, it's cute. There's a nice space for one. Ooh, that's kind of cute. Okay. And then maybe we can put another one down here. Doesn't look bad. I'm liking the way that looks. So we're going to go with that one. Right there. I'm going to see if that grows on me because I'm not feeling it 100%. Let's get some enamel dots out. And what color should we use? I don't want the yellow. This peach one, yes. And this green one. The other green, I wonder if that's too bright. It doesn't look too bad. Let's put... Maybe I will use the yellow ones in the middle of these flowers because the middle of the flowers are usually yellow. And this will cover that up. And then do I have teeny ones? Yep, we'll use medium ones in the middle of these. That might be a good idea. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that made that look even better. Oh, I can put enamel dots right there. Let's do that. So we'll take a medium peachy pink. And then this size of that green. And I'm going to have to pick another color because I like to do three. Let's just do, I don't know if I want to do more yellows. How about this one? Hmm. They cut, that color goes with the butterfly, so I think I'm going to go with that. Then maybe another one here. And here. I don't know why I'm so indecisive today. Let's just do it. We can always take them up if we don't like them, but I think it'll be fine. It's an enamel dot. How would that possibly look bad, right? Um, there and let's do three here cute all right got that done so we got three spots and then in the middle here adorbs let's just do clear on this and see if we like it let's do tweezers are these stuck down yep all right let's do Try to do three on here if we can. Maybe just two. Yep, two. It's going to be a lot of noise because it is right in the middle of a huge ice storm and there's plows going by my house right now with salt and sand for the road. So I'm sorry about that, but it's pretty bad out. And of course, it has to happen right when everybody's trying to get home from work. So that always scares me. I was lucky and got to work from home today. So I'm grateful for that. Okay, one more and we will be done. And then I think that added a little something something that we needed. All right, I don't think I'm going to do splatters or anything because I just love the fresh, clean background of this paper. I think it's pretty. This was really easy to put together. Even stitching this was super easy because the holes were already there for you. And they're a beautiful sized hole so you can get your needle and the um, 
just embroidery floss right through there. Super simple. Isn't that pretty? And I like that I did the ombre with the ink on the love part so you could see it more, distinguish it more from the background. There's that beautiful floral cup file too. I will put a direct link to both of these amazing cup files right in the description box below along with the Confessions of a Paper Edit cup file shop and our Facebook group in case you want to pick up any other cup files while you're there. So there you go. Yeah, those flare buttons are okay. I like them. It's good. I used up two of them. I'm good with it. Here's my photo in case you didn't get to see it. I know it's kind of small. All right. Um, I think I'm done. I will put close-ups at the end for you, my friends. Thank you so much for stopping to see me. I hope you liked this. I had fun putting this together. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.